I'm currently in Rome. I literally cannot believe it. I'm here with Millie. She's literally just nipped out to get some bits for breakfast. I've actually been here for like kind of like one day so far. This is technically our first full day. So I wanted to start the vlog today just because yesterday we were literally shattered. I kind of wish I'd vlogged a little bit. And to be fair, I did film some clips, so I'm going to put them in here. But we just had like a little bit of an exploring day. We went to Vatican City. We did a guided tour and stuff, which was really fun. Fun. Um, we went to dinner last night. We went to one of the most incredible Italian restaurants I've ever been to. Um, Mill actually found it on, I think she found it on Google, and it was literally one of like the highest rated places to eat in Rome. And I'm not joking, the pasta was so good it was unbelievable like this is the one thing i was really excited about for coming to rome because obviously me and mill went to milan last year i feel like we're doing like a little bit of an italy tour together because before milan neither of us had ever been to italy so we're kind of just like experiencing it together which i really love because obviously mill is one of like my bestest friends in the world but yeah this is our first time in rome now we wanted to do somewhere a little bit different this time we really just want to see like everything like i feel like that's what we're trying to do so we've got today and tomorrow to just like explore eat some good food eat some good pasta some good pizza have lots of drinks i'm not even joking i was steaming by the time we got home last night i don't know what's happened to me recently but i've turned into such a lightweight like it literally takes two drinks not even that like a drink and a half and i will be near enough on the floor but we tried campari is that what it said? It's kind of like Aperol, I think. That literally blew my head off with how strong it was. The waiter started bringing tequila over. I was like, oh my God, this night is just going one way and one way only. But we had such a good first day. So I'll put some little clips in here of everything that we got up to. It's looking a bit, you know, chaotic. I'm not gonna lie, okay? Obviously, we are a pair of girlies that bring a lot of stuff for short trips. Don't ask me how, I've literally packed my whole life for what is a weekend away, but it is always the case. And yeah, I'm hoping it's a little bit, oh my God, it is. It's a little bit sunny today. Can you kind of see? It's really annoying this window's not like see-through. <laughs> um, but you can see a little bit outside. So it was literally pouring down yesterday. Like the rain was awful it was so bad we were proper stressing because as we were like obviously getting ready to come away on this trip we saw the weather and it just kept getting worse and worse and worse like it was literally forecasted thunderstorms it rained a lot yesterday so um i'm so excited it's looking a little bit sunny today i feel like it's cleared up a bit so i'm gonna get ready i'm gonna pick an outfit I'm actually really excited because i brought some new cases with me if I can reach over. Yeah, I brought some new cases with me for this trip because you guys know I love to take a good mirror pic. Like it's one of my favorite things to do in terms of like pictures, like filler pictures for Instagram, like stories, that kind of thing. I just think, I don't know, I just love a good mirror pic. And I also really like when my case matches the vibe of like my outfit or my makeup or whatever it is. So I've brought some cases with me because currently currently my phone's on charge <laughs> but recently i've been using this one here obviously all of my cases are always from caseify they are my favorite phone cases in the world yeah i wanted to pick some new ones out because i've had this one on my phone for a while now this is a customizable um compostable case made out of 100 percent recycled and plant-based materials it also has my initials on the side there so i wanted to get some for this trip so that i could match them to my outfit so i'm going to show you what i picked out i got this one here which is just a little clear case with the white hearts on i love this like it's so simple so minimal but really really cute i got this one with little flowers on i've actually picked some outfits or like packed some outfits that have a little bit of color on with like the pinks and the oranges so i thought this one would be really lovely as well and then last but not least i got this one here which is um, it's quite like an abstracty design, I want to say. It's got like this like black and white swirl um, going around the back. This is a crush case as well. You can see on the side, it's made out of recycled phone cases, recycled materials, um, and it's got obviously this little speckled 
situation on the side which makes every single case unique which is really cool as well and then these two um, are ultra impact cases so you can see they've got the little bumpers on the sides like the top and the bottom so these are actually drop tested up to 9.8 feet so super protective for your phone as you guys know I love Casify as a brand they've got so many cute designs so many things to choose from there's literally something for everyone and I just really love the fact that they're working to be as sustainable and eco-friendly as possible all of the cases are also compatible with wireless charging and 5g and they also have a feature called defensify which is an antimicrobial coating which basically kills 99.9 percent .9 of bacteria so so many great features in terms of the cases themselves Aya, have you had a shower I better show us. Pinch black, girly. Are you ready? I'm ready. My heart. Sorry, it's suddenly been interrupted, but show us what there is. I do love a plain croissant. Raspberries. Gorgeous. Pineapple. Oh my god, these look so yummy. Like, they look, they look very fresh. Why did I think that was like bananas at first? Because it said bananas. The, the fruit section was limited, yeah. And then Haribo's. Gorgeous. We're ready. It's 20 past 11. I feel like we've done. We've not done well. We should. Right, it was me like, I feel like we've done well. Yeah. No, we've, not done, we've not done all. We've not done terribly. Just done light makeup today, which I did film this look if you've not seen it already, so I'll put it on the screen here if you want to check it out. But Mel's done a full itinerary for the day. I have. I think we're going to, are we going to the Coliseum first? Coliseum. Yeah. Then the Pantheon. Gorge. I, I don't know what it's called, but it's like ruins next to the Coliseum. Then the Spanish step. It's a busy day. It's a lot of walking, but... With it. I feel like we feel a lot fresher this morning. Yeah. Yesterday, obviously, we had a 6 a.m. flight, so it was a little bit of a struggle throughout the day. Whereas today, I'm like, right, I'm feeling fresh, ready to go. We did so well yesterday, we did, though. Yeah. I thought I was going to lose you about 4 o'clock. She didn't go to bed till half 12 when we had a 6 a.m. flight. Yeah, I was at the cinema. I was seeing the new Doctor Strange film, so it was a very late night. I had literally three hours sleep. This is what Mills wearing. I'm obsessed with this set. We didn't coordinate our outfits and Hannah also literally ordered the, the same, same thing. <laughs> but yeah, Mills wearing PLT. I've got a dress on from Zara, which oh, I'm literally obsessed to... obsessed with. How do I... There we go. Look at that. Fantastic. Do she looks like a, a Roman dream. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with this dress. It's she... Zara. She looks fantastic. Very extra small, which... I'm not usually an extra small, but I feel like because these straps are adjustable, like, they just tie in a lot more. Um, Perfection. I feel like it'd be a maxi dress on me. I don't think it would fit I feel like this would be, way. like, literally on the floor on you. Yeah, it wouldn't fit How tall are you? 5'3"? Five, 5'1 five, and a half. 5'1 and a half. I'm going to get the dark over there. But the half counts. Surely that means I'm not 5'. I thought I was 5'7 then. I think you are. Look. Let's look in the mirror. You look like my little sis. I do, and I'm the older one. We're gonna head out soon. We've had some of like our little snacks for breakfast, and I think I'm gonna go with my white case from Case to Fi, because I feel like the hearts match pretty well. Yeah, I feel like this matches pretty well for like, mirror pickies. Also, just wanted to quickly mention that Case Divi has also released new cases for the Samsung S22, Z Flip and Pixel. They're super slim and protective. They do the Impact and the Impact Crush cases, which are drop tested up to 6.6 feet. They also have the Ultra Impact cases as well for Samsung, which is the one that I've got on currently, which is drop tested up to 9.8 feet. As you guys know, I always have a code for Case Divi, so I'm going to put it on the screen here and in the description bar down below. And yeah, this is my case for the day. Oh my god, guys, I've rented some pieces for this trip, which I did that in Milan as well, actually, didn't yeah, I? Did. Which I don't think I mentioned, but I've rented a couple of pieces because I feel like it's such a good idea sometimes to like rent outfits. This is one of the things that I've rented from, I want to say it's pronounced Mao. My mouth. I love renting stuff sometimes. I don't know if I've ever actually spoke about that in a vlog because I did rent the miscreant dress in Milan as well, which I've rented another miscreant dress for this trip. Yeah, obviously it's a lot more affordable than buying designer pieces and sustainable. Sustainable, like it's good for the planet. But yeah, I'm gonna try those on later. Anyway, we're literally gonna head out now and 
grab some lunch. So we've come to a lunch spot. <laughs> um, Mel found this restaurant on Google. TripAdvisor, yeah. TripAdvisor. You love TripAdvisor. That's my most used Such app. a TripAdvisor girl. I love it. Um, but yeah, it's called... I don't know if I'm going to say this right. Piccolo Buco. I want to say we actually tried to get in here yesterday. We queued before it opened and we didn't get in. The queue is literally always gigantic. So we queued again today a little bit earlier. And yeah, they basically opened at 12. So we're one of the first ones here. We were the first ones Literally, we were like, right, I need a table. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to get some pizza. It's basically all pizza, um, the menu. And it's like wood, wait, it's like a wood oven, like yeah. proper like fire pizza. Yeah. <laughs> a proper fire pizza. <laughs> Everything's made fresh. I'm literally watching the guy make them right now. And we're currently trying to decide what to get. It must be good. Yeah, it must be good. So we weren't that bothered about it. We just was like, I was like, oh, we just picked this place. Like, we'll just go there because it's around the corner. We got there, saw the queue and we're like, oh, yeah, we have, we have to, to, have, to, to go. have to go. We were defeated yesterday and we were like, no, we need to get there today. But yeah, this is the menu. So I think we're gonna do a burrata margarita because anyone that knows me knows burrata is like one of my favorite things. I can't. Oh, you've got a burrata one. Oh my God, I've just seen it. Oh, I know you don't. You don't like I don't know if I've tried them. They're super salty. Are they? Like little salty fish, but on a pizza is so good. Okay. Well, oh, guys, the pizza's just gone. Stop. Oh, my God. Oh. oh my god. Guys, <laughs> just to give you some insight right now. <laughs> it is of course raining, like, I don't know if I mentioned this this morning, but like obviously we had to pick the weekend where it was for the online. Yeah, the rain. only weekend. We've actually fought the rain, I'd say the majority of the day. Like if yeah. rain, the second we sit on a rooftop bar. The second we got the up second, here. Like we entered the bar, <laughs> no rain. Went up the lift, exited the lift. Pouring down, pouring down. Thank God someone's organised. I has did. an umbrella. Bring an umbrella. Um but yeah, we've been to see the Coliseum and the Spanish set. This is what we can see right now. It looks so pretty. There are the things that we want to see. And these are the things we've got a tick that we've done. These are restaurants that we wanted to go to. Bars, not hit any of those yet, which we will tonight. Reservations at Box and areas to visit, we have done that, so that can be a. That's where we're tip. thinking about going back to tonight because it yeah. was really fun. We like it. it felt a bit like the Northern Quarter. I don't know what I do without Mel over here organizing the whole trip. She's very welcome. But yeah, we're just gonna get maybe an Aperol. I feel like that is the drink of choice in Italy. Like I love getting Aperol here. I don't really drink it at home. But yeah, we're gonna get a drink. Enjoy the rain and yeah. chill. Okay, so we've come back to Trastevere. We're gonna it's go. Our favorite area. Yeah, so far, really love it here. We're gonna go and get some dinner. So we've decided to share a little gnocchi. And then we've also got some bread to go with it. Gnocchi is like one of my favorite pastas in the world. So I'm excited to give this a go. We've also got some Aperol. Cheers. This trip, I feel like, has flown by. So it's now our last full day in Rome. Um, we've done like a little bit of a plan for the day in terms of what we want to do. Um, we're both saying that I feel like literally all we've had for the past two days is pizza and pasta. Like that's literally all we've eaten. So we're actually going to have some like sushi, Japanese food for lunch today instead. Yeah, it's just going to be another day of like 
being Taurus, sightseeing, oh, eating yeah, good food. See, we have one more thing on our list. Yeah. We've got to see the Pantheon. Yeah. And Which is kind of near to where we're eating. Yeah. And then we're going to have a mooch around like the shops and stuff near that as well. Because we've not really done any shopping here. Not that we like would super fussed by it anyway. But I feel like we may as well whilst we're there. I've gone for an all black look today so i've done this little cropped black blazer which is from plt i've got this little necklace on here as well um hair up in a little pony i'd usually put a pony in but i'm like you know what like i just want to be comfy today so i'm just going for like my natural pony these are the pants that i've put on these are from weekday weekday official i want to say i got them on asar but yeah we're literally about to head out the door now we've kind of just had some nibbles for breakfast in terms of like what we had left from the shop so we've just got for lunch um we've just come to um, i think this place is called kepo it's like a little acai like poke bowl place how good does this look i'm obsessed okay currently trying on zara i need opinions on this dress like what do we think? Quite like the fit of it here. I'm undecided. What do we think? She finally got the gelato. Oh, this whole holiday. Bit of mango. Mango. Love to see it. And we've ordered some more. Yeah, and what we've ordered food. So I feel like hopefully it'll balance out. We've literally found this restaurant on Google Maps. So like, who knows? We'll see. I'm if not trip advised today. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a panic attack. But yeah, we're gonna assess. And then Mel's found an Irish pub that she wants to go to. I just want a pint. Every holiday I go to an Irish pub and have a pint. That is the opposite and to me. Just because Hannah never doesn't drink me beer. She's, she's not changing never. for me. She can have a, a, a vodka or a gin or an Aperol, but she's, I want my pint in an Irish pub. <laughs> I was saying before, I was like, all these things that you've like had to have on this holiday, like a pint, a tiramisu, and a gelato. <laughs> You don't, you look gorgeous. Cheers. A new, new Zara top bought today. Anyway, send help. Uh, what I am? SOS. What did I say? Happy chappy. A happy chappy. <laughs> I am a happy chappy. I'll Go do, on. I'll do the olive one. Okay. <laughs> that was such a. Mm. I love that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. I feel like it's gonna be literally broken hot, but like we'll give it a go. Hannah can't deal with heat. No, I can't. Literally, Millie was eating this yogurt and I was like, babe, it's so hot, like I don't want to She was just looking at me like, how are you doing that? Like, that's literally just scalding my mouth. And what you're falling on. Blow! Do something or get through. Blow! Give it a blow! How big is that? It's rectangular like this. Ah, oh, it's good. No, it's I know good. it's good. There's, there's basil on the it's top. Like, what could be wrong about it's good it? To go. right, let's just talk about the fact that. <laughs> right. No, 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 no. I was lined up to make the performance of a lifetime. <laughs> and Hannah stole me from a spotlight. Right. You <laughs> said, if my name's not the next name on the screen, then we'll leave. Oh, and I honestly, was like, okay, like, I'm I, literally if ready for bed. Me, <laughs> Dom. I love a karaoke bar more than anyone in the it world. It was, you know what? I'll, I'll give you that. It was a good karaoke it was bar. A it was and, and, and really I know, good. I know. If I did Abba, it would have brought the house down. Anyway, what are we rating that Italy trip out of 10? Oh, 10. Are you? Uh, Hannah. You know. Hey. No, because I'm like, what do you rate Milan then? Oh, well, right. So here, this is where my debate lies. So, Milan was a prettier city, 
and Milan. I like the look at more. Yeah. But I've had more <laughs> fun with you in Rome. We have literally had the best trip. I've loved every second. I really hope you've all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. And you'll, yeah. You'll see us when we're back in Manchester. Yeah.